Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix the device is not ready error in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit our problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about the problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check the hardware connections like disconnecting or reconnecting the USB cable or inspect your PC's cable or alternatively you can also try and drive bay. Number 2. Run hardware troubleshooters. For this, display the run dialog box by pressing the window plus R key. After that, in the run box, type msdt.exe slash id device diagnostics and press enter. After that, just simply click on next to run the troubleshooter. Number 3. Check for disk errors. For this, open start. Search for command prompt, right click the top result and select as run as administrator option. After that, type chkdsk slash fc and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not your system drive. After that, press y when prompted to schedule the disk check on the next restart. After that, just simply restart your PC. Number 4. Run the SFC scan. For this, again search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. Type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. SFC slash scan now. Be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 5. Updating or reinstall device drivers. For this, right click on start button and select device manager from there. After that, in a device manager, find the device that's causing the error. For example, a CD or DVD drive or an external drive. It may have a yellow triangle indicating an issue. After that, right click on the problematic device and select update driver and follow the auth instruction to search for and install the latest driver updates. If updating the driver doesn't work, you can also try uninstalling the driver and then restarting the computer. And don't worry, window will automatically reinstall the driver. Number 6. Check for any window updates. For this, press window plus i key to open the window settings. After that, click on update and security. In the update and security window, click on window update in the left hand menu. After that, click on check for updates and let Windows search for any available updates and it will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, restart the computer and check if the function is working or not. Number 7. Perform a system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the window search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. Then, it will prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. And if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then, click finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 8. Disable USB Selective Suspect. For this, press window plus S and search for edit power plan. Then, click change advanced power settings. After that, expand USB settings and USB Selective Suspect pen setting. Set it to disabled. Step 9. Assign a drive letter. For this, press window plus X key and select disk management. Find your flash drive in the list of drives. It should be listed as removable. After that, right click on flash drive and select change drive letter and path and simply assign a letter. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.